this car is super, super, super clean. So I'm starting today's vlog at AGX because, well, I actually forgot I had my camera on me until like 20 minutes ago when I was like, hey, where's my camera? And then I realized it was there. So I'm here to pick up uh, my Aventador that I left because it needed an alignment. And then we found some other things and I was like, yeah, I'd rather not just drive this back to Vegas. I'd rather take it and get uh, Mark to go through it and do all this stuff. So here to hopefully see that it's done, but knowing AGX, it's likely not done. Yeah, what's up guys? You guys know AGX is slow, oh, right? Yeah. Especially for YouTubers. Yeah, like I said, I left it here a week ago. Mark, Mitch. What up? I mean, come on, you know? 19 days later, it's still on the lift. I thought I got a YouTuber, uh, like, uh, preference? On a Mercy Lago, the wings up is a cool thing. On a Ventador, eh, it's not that cool. You guys can see it right here. See, like, these don't really look that cool when they're, like, up. So, basically, you know, like... I don't know, it doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look like, like it looks like it's broken. So hopefully Mark can fix those uh, because, you know, I got a lot of shit to do today. What do you got going on with the lift, dude? Um, are we, what are we doing on the front? I don't like it. You don't like it? You drove it? You really don't like it? Like you really, really don't like it? Uh, the problem is, is it doesn't have any diagnostics. That's the so problem. It's not gonna tell you that it's hurt. But when you go to put power to it, there's no real guarantee that it is. Okay, essentially this is the way it goes. Alright guys, sorry for not filming all day long, but I'm on my own here and it's really hard to film while I'm driving because I just, I'm an I'm a aggressive driver, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just actually like, I'm not happy, California. I always complain about it, but it's a real thing. This is a real thing, it's a real problem out here. Uh, I'm driving a truck with a trailer. I just picked up the Aventador over at AGX. I drove down to Newport Beach to go to Iluso to get another car um, because, well, I mean, at the same time, it's March, guys, we're, we're, we're moving on up. We, you know, we sold some cars in November, picking back up in March, we gotta add some to the fleet, we gotta add some to the lease group. You know, we've got a lot of stuff going on right now, and, um, you know, I thought I could basically get all this done alone. I actually didn't expect to buy another car. I didn't intend to, but um, I ended up leasing out a 720 really fast. Like, I put it up and it got leased out, like, basically same day, so I had to replace that, uh, because a lot of people like seven or 570s. I, did I say 720? If I said 720, I meant 570. So I came out here and uh, I was able to get obviously a great deal uh, on a 570 orange this time because my white one has then been leased out. So now uh, orange one's gonna go and uh, probably be a part of the lease group too. I mean, it's all the same. The white one, the white one's really, I like the white one because of orange accents. The orange one is cool because it's like McLaren right so either one i'll show you the car soon i've got to get the trailer back on the truck because i was driving around without the trailer because i didn't really want the trailer as i'm driving around there's an event store in there it's very heavy but now i've got to go and pick up jesse at the airport so um i'm gonna load this trailer up and then after that um go pick up jesse get dinner pick up the 570 and then do all this other stuff all over again and tomorrow we're gonna go like run errands, I guess, or do something. Okay, I unloaded the Aventador and uh, it's driving nice. Very straight. Mark, at least, I can compliment you. You know how to align a car perfectly. It's a wonderful thing. You know, all wheel drive cars always kind of feel like they're out of alignment, but like when you give it gas, you want the car to go straight and not to the right, to the left. When you brake, you don't obviously want it to go either way also. so. You hit one little thing in a car like this, alignments are looking, it's straight and it's looking like this all crooked. You know, like you're like sitting here like this and you're going that way, you know, over there. So, Jesse's here, pulling into Jet Speed X right now. Uh, I hope he fits because my backpack and all this stuff is here and the top is in the trunk. Top's not coming back on, not an option. So Jesse, you're gonna have to make it work. Uh, no, top's in the trunk. 
trunk. Come on, what's in there? What's in there? <laughs> You're short enough. I'll unlock that for you, sir. Just scoot your seat up and then. Okay. You got you like, look at this mess. Don't you take care of your cars? Oh, crap. You got water, gum, keys. Yeah. And gum. this is all brand It's all brand new stuff from the last time I drove it. I just got in the car right now. Oh, okay. Here, let's put the key in the holder. Okay, how was your flight? Fast? It's like 40 minutes. Dude, honestly, I went on a flight here the last time, 36 minutes, or 31 minutes in the air. That's good. Like, it was no joke. It was so fast. So, Accomplish um, anything today? No. No? Nope. No. Right. Yeah. Uh, we have no gas. That's Do you have any cool. money? Got my credit card. Oh, nice, because I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, just, I just spent it all. Jeez. All of it. All right. Uh, all right. Hold on. Lift. We're going up. No scratch. Good job. Well, I do have to say is uh, the RA is a lot smoother than that. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, a lot cheaper. Cheaper, lot cheaper, smoother. Everything's better in an RA. <laughs> It's just crazy how nice. It's just so beautiful the sound that a V12 makes. You know what I mean? Yes. So, but it doesn't sound like a baby V12. No. What are the decibels? Did you do the decibel ratings? No, we, I got the key. I got the thing though. I got the thing. We got the thing. I got the thing. Did you get the better one in a forty dollar one? The FedEx plane thing. That thing's huge. That's why we're so fast. Man, a nice plane. What's our destination? Um, a parking lot close to Iluso. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. Did remember you that eat place? I'm that, hungry. No, I haven't eaten all day. Uh, okay. Do you remember that place that lost my suit jacket when we had the Bugatti Maxim event? Yeah, yeah. That's where we're staying. Oh, did you tell them? I told them. I was like, guys, if you lose my clothes again, as a matter of <laughs> fact, I'm not giving you my clothes this time. <laughs> you get to see a lot of greens all the greenery over here you know see there's trees there's no rocks over here oh this is the McLaren okay now Jess is here I'm gonna give him the keys here let me get the keys uh, keys 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 a lot of stuff in my pockets. He's this McLaren. So uh, look, super sick car. Let's go over this real quick, all right? This is, I believe now, it kind of looks like Ventura orange, but I don't know, all right? This is a darker orange than the one we had, right? It, I, yeah, we've had so many of these cars, it's hard to tell, but basically, uh, I think that uh, this is a variation of Ventura orange. Uh, it could be, it's because it's not McLaren orange. McLaren orange is lighter than this, you know? But uh, freshly serviced. I just picked this up at the McLaren of Newport Beach Service Center. Oh, nice. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's awesome. I'm really happy. Everything is good. Got a 285. It's got the good tires on it. I mean, look at this car. How many miles do you think this thing has, Jesse? Uh, where'd you buy it from? McLaren? Where'd you buy it from? Let's just not. Let's just, I need to know where we buy it from. No, no, that's 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 what I'm saying. Let's just talk about it. it doesn't matter where I bought it from. Okay, condition. Okay, you don't know. I mean, I don't know why you don't. Do you even know where we are? I know we're somewhere in California. Okay, so Newport Beach is right there. That's Lamborghini and McLaren. Oh, okay. Right behind there. See the service thingy? Oh, yeah. I lose those about a block that way. So All right. Really... So it doesn't matter where I bought it from. Okay. Okay. You guys already know where I bought it from. Jesse doesn't. So I just don't want it to give him any hints. All right, so how I many miles are on this? Can I get a price tag? No, 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 no. Let's just look at the just car. Look at the car. Just look at the service of the car. 
So nice. Gun service. So this car has... Check the, check the, the clear bra right here. Okay. Wow, nice. Original Look at that. tires on the car? I don't know. That I, I can't tell you. 15,000 miles. Oh, you're just going straight raw. Just the highest you can go, huh? What is it? What is it? 17,000 ah! miles. <laughs> Jesse's got to get on the prices right, man. This is, when yeah, I saw this car, it was a 3,000 mile car. I was really pumped. I was like, no way. I, I got it for a really good deal. I got it for what a 17,000 mile car would be like. So, you know, basically this car is super, super, super clean. I mean, like so clean. I don't believe it even has that many miles on it. I think the odometer says 1,700 miles. 15,000 um, miles? Yeah. And it's still intact? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know where all the problems are. Look at the back of the seat. I know. I already checked that. Yeah. You know, this is normal. That's normal because this this is this is clips they in here. Clip in. They just clip they run in. They're running with a, uh, a body tool and it goes right back in. Yeah. But look at the weather stripping. I mean, all the normal McLaren spots. Now, check this out. This is where it's really not 17,000 miles. It's right here. Yeah. You know. know. Look at this. You know it's clean this, this, when you see is this that. New, new style. Like, it's this is beautiful. This is protecting it. But we have that on ours, and ours don't look uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> this know. is a Los Angeles car. They don't get to see the desert, don't see rocks. Ah, uh, maybe. You know what? Rocks, wow, gravel. I didn't even think of that. The gravel in Vegas is what causes our McLarens to get messed up. All right, uh, let's go eat. This one's amberjack because it looks a little bit smaller on the cuts. Yeah. And if you look at the, the green way it cuts here, it's a little bit different than the yellow tuna. I know that's yellow tail for sure. Well, why don't you eat it and tell me how it tastes? <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't. Are you? I'm just going to eat first. No, you're supposed to actually put soy sauce on it. I'm not putting soy sauce on it. I'm telling you. Eat it. I'm going to try the new one first. Good? Very. You guys remember all the past videos? He always tossed crab and all the crazy stuff. He's starting to get... I've never seen him order stuff like this before. The I'm very just, first time. What know. happened? <laughs> what changed you over? This is very surprising. I don't know. My taste buds are evolving. I'm becoming an adult now. I'm an adult now. Okay. Yeah. Very fresh. Mm -hmm. oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. This is what he typically orders, right yeah. here. Also very this good. This is the old-fashioned. Also very good. Okay, so if anybody wants to know, I'm old. All right, 30 years old. I know I'm not really old, old, but at the end of the day, you, you've got to think about this for a second. Uh, downstairs, all right. I've got a super sick 570, the best Aventador I've ever bought. And Jesse and I are here just in LA hanging out and it's like eight o'clock at night. And we're like, you know, thinking to ourselves, like, what do we go and do right now? Should we just sleep? Nah, that's not, I'm not, it's 830, right? Yep. So I walked down to the valet and I'm like, hey man, is there anything to do around here? He's telling me all the bars to go to, all the clubs and all the spots. I'm like, no, it's like, there's like a... Is that like a Dave and Buster's? <laughs> so, 30 years old, Jesse and I both, uh, Dave and Buster's, and uh, we did great. We did really good. Jesse did way better than me. He got this, like, tell him about this game. Which game? We had a lot of games. No, the game that... The chip game. The, the game that you move the thing. Yeah, the, oh, the, so one, the big... There's a game there that has arm, there's chips, so there's a number. So you got 25 tokens, 50 tokens, 500 tokens, 250, and there's zombie tokens. You have to spell the word zombie. And each token is 300, but if you hit them all, you get the jackpot. Yeah. So, um, two hundred dollars later. Yeah. <laughs> we, got all, we got the jackpot. <laughs> I plus, spent two hundred dollars to get the jackpot. Plus we got a couple five hundred. We got a couple five. No, yeah, we did great. It would have been smart to get the five hundred, but we wanted to get the jackpot. Of course, that's the way the game goes. Three hundred more tokens. Yeah. But two hundred dollars later, all our points is what we came back with. So we got two full boxes <laughs> of sour candy. 
And okay. if you guys don't believe us, boom, we got the that. proof. Proof. Dave and Busters. So, yeah, um, we bought, I don't know, what do you yeah. think this costs? Like 15 bucks worth of candy? Yeah, because if you go to like, um, what's that that candy place you can go to? Not not Staples. Uh, like I don't know. Costco even? It's kind of like Costco, but it's for like candy. Candy. And it's oh, like where like, you do vending machine people go shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like, I think it's probably a box like nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> we paid 10 times too much for this candy. Uh, anyways, we're headed down tomorrow to go and see uh, our boy Alex. And he's in Temecula. Uh, I'm probably going to include that in today's vlog. So I'm not going to end it right now because I barely vlogged today. I didn't do anything. Sorry, guys. When I'm alone and Mario's not with me, like the, cam the, the cameras is not my priority. Right, I'm like busy making money. I'm doing things. I'm like focusing on the road and not crashing this trailer with an Aventador in it. And so, you know, I get really sidetracked. Mario's over there playing with the camera, doing all the B-roll. Every time I shoot by myself anyways, I always do bad because like an exposure wheel is off or there's dust. Three vlogs in a row that I film, people have been commenting on dust in the video. Oh, like on the really? screen. Remember what Mario always said. I refuse to wash my lens, and or, I refuse to put a lens cap yeah, on. Yeah, lens cap. Okay, so I threw the I took the lens cap like this, and I was like that. <laughs> F your lens cap. Okay, I hate the lens cap. It's a stupid thing. Okay, the rope around my neck. Stupid thing. Okay, I got this camera. I'm just gonna use it. If there's dust in there, you guys wipe it off your screen. Okay, because I'm not wiping it off mine.